Able to Cook is sponsored in part by Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. On this episode of Able to Cook, let's take a look at Mindy Spray. She is cooking in the kitchen, and it has been very chilly these days when it comes to, um, you know, the weather that we've been having in Vermont. Let's take a look at a recent chili recipe that she did, as well as a cookie recipe. Let's take a look at this. This is what um, the doll looks like. Kind of thick there. Yeah. yeah. It's not done yet. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like yeah. wallpaper paste. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's got some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil in it, yeah. No, but I'm saying it looks like wallpaper glue. Or paint. <laughs> well, painters, painters. <laughs> okay, Min, so vegetable oil, you need a half a cup. Half a cup, so that? find your half a cup. It's one over two. This one right here. One over two. Look right here. Yep. So this one, put that, put some in there. How many eggs is she putting in there? She's gonna put four. Four eggs. No, two. Two, 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 eggs. two, two eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. Yeah, uh, yeah, two eggs. Yeah. I'm looking at the wrong one. It's four egg whites or yeah. two whole eggs. Yeah. There you go. Mix that in. Yep. Yeah. So two cups of oil. Yep. yep. No, just uh, a half a cup of oil. It's all, you can see it all, not liquidy, but it's like all liquid. Good recipe for cornbread. Yeah. It's on yep. the back of the Aunt Jemima cornmeal, or the Quaker There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes if you, if you want to, you know, be quick about it and get people fed fast, it's okay to do things by uh, box. Well, yeah, this isn't the box. This is the Quaker... No, but you get my point. Yeah. You know. Okay, so now we're beating your eggs. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put the eggs in here. Yep. And I'm gonna mix it around. Correct. Okay. Do you add water to them? Do you add milk to the eggs? Or? No, the milk is already into the. Yeah, it's already um in here. Already in there. All you do is mix it around. Mix it around, girl. I gotta check the cookies. All right. Okay. Eggs has to get all mixed into it. So how was your holidays? My good? holiday was good. Yeah, I, I had fun. It's not. What about you? I don't know. It wasn't good. really cooking well when I was over there. It's not cooking well. Uh-oh. Is it on? Maybe something's wrong with the oven. There's something always wrong with that oven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it smells good, don't it? Are you mm -hmm. doing uh, some with beans and some without? No, we're just doing one chili that I two different ones. I'm just checking on you. Oh, you are? Yeah, when I go, when I snap my fingers, yeah. I'm just checking the audio to make sure it's up. Oh, you are? <laughs> no, no, that's just the audio thing. Oh, it is? You don't have to worry about that. Alright. Um, wow. So you did it with beans or that's without? That's good. They don't like them, they can pick them out. <laughs> right. And normally we have a vegetarian option, uh -huh. but today is different. Well, with yesterday, you're not doing much of the cooking and blah, blah, blah. So kinda hey, Rosie. Hey, this is coming up very good. No way. Yes, way. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, <laughs> you know me, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rosie. I think that's good. 
enough? Does it all mix together or everything? No chunky lumpy? Uh I don't take a look. Try doing it again. Do it again? Yep. I don't see any chunks. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion? What? A regular spoon would work, no? Well, she's got a... Yeah, that. Here. Yeah. That. Yeah, that work. This will work. That For the works. little ones. Wait, hurry up. It'll be little ones, yeah. Yeah, the bigger ones. She'll use the bigger ones. <coughs> Try my best. That's all you can hope for, man. That's fine. Okay, next. Tastes good, just to say. Next oh, one. yeah. I like doing this, it's fun. There we go. A bit more. And if it spills over, then you just do more. Yep. There you go. Spills that one. And this one. I didn't even want to check those cookies. Mm -hmm. I think the top ones might be ready. Or the bottom ones might be ready. The cookies, how come the cookies didn't work that well? I don't know. The oven doesn't seem to be good? cooking. That's, that one's good. Okay, next. There's that three. That three Why don't you one. sit down and do that? It'll be easy enough. Uh, She's so tall. It's yeah. Oh. Did oh, they burn? They burn? Oops. Did they burn? No. Uh, use a pot holder. You won't get burned. Okay, there's that one. Uh oh. I thought it was something else. See? Those got folded up a little bit when they got put in. Oh. Uh, it's not too okay. drastic. It's just one that comes with me. That one, fill in the scoop up too. Yep, fill it, fill it right up. Okay, well, there's that one. And then the next one. Next one. That's how I have to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one. One more. Countries of, if the it's food's good, if the food's oh, good, good work. Yeah, one. sure. You're right. It is. And if you don't, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just joking. With you. Yeah, it's okay. If you don't, then um, it's a little bit in that one. No, you're fine. You're good. Okay, Rosie. Okay. Uh, oh, so how, all right. how many degrees you have to put it in there? It's 350 yep. and 20 minutes. 20 well, minutes. actually, 400. 20, 20 oh, minutes. Can we book that off? Okay. So get a piece of paper towel. Oh, that one right here. Because in Israel, for example, mm -hmm. when I was cook I was cooking uh, raisin bread, and it's right. Celsius versus Fahrenheit. This is same in Canada. 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 Canada's Celsius. It's Canada. That's where way, uh, it, it, off it came way off. <laughs> I'll wipe that off right now. Yeah, Canada is Celsius also. Mm -hmm. It's metric instead of mm -hmm. standard. Not whipped cream. No. Yeah, don't say like whipped cream. It's coconut oil. Oh, it is? Coconut oil. Yeah. No, but mm -hmm. I used to take the whipped cream can and... and mm -hmm. Do whip it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that one. Kind of make a little mess. That's okay. Don't worry. These are going to come out so good after when they get done. That one. A little 
more on that one? No, nope, you're good. Okay, and I got more. More to do. Okay, that one's good. Mm -hmm. I just scoop it up and just put it right in here. Yep. Big scoop will be perfect. Next. And then next one. Okay, mm -hmm. there's that one. Where are you serving today? In here? Yeah. Yeah, in the kitchen. It gets pretty busy about 11.30. Between yeah. 11.30 I can, and I can move stuff when you need to. Yeah. It gets really busy. Yeah, a lot of people, it's loud. No, I, I'm thinking you're doing it outside. <laughs> okay, 24 degrees? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> I think it not. It would be nice. It's although, cold out there. Although, December 5th, we had an outside barbecue. Really? I wasn't here for that. Wow. Would you serve hamburgers on those? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. We had um, barbecue in December, we called it. Yep. That's what we called it. With the learning network, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, there's that so one. So those are ready. Okay, and they're going to the oven. I'm going to open it for you, Rosie. I dislike the electric ovens in Vermont. Okay. Some of it's right. off, you know, the... the hmm? This one, the... Can you open the pot? Yeah. So I can see what we got here. So what, so what is it, beef chili? Or yeah, beef chili. Wait, open yep. it one more time? Yeah, I gotta get this one. I wanna stir it. So is it beef, vegetables, and what? It's beef, tomatoes, yeah. kidney beans, light oh, kidney yeah. beans, oh. dark kidney beans. A little bit of salsa to give it a little kick. A little chili for chili. Yeah. And then we have, um, what else we put in there, Min? We put... Like those packages? Yep, the seasoning. The seasoning we put in. But then we put... Um, Spicy or not? Or like mild. Because we have some people that can't handle spice. I know, we do. Spice. We put a little salt in, I think. Yeah, we do salt. A little bit of pepper, I think. Pepper. Pepper, yeah. Um, garlic, garlic, onion powder. Onion powder. All it's ready that to stuff. be tasted or not? Yeah. It actually is. Would you like a spoon? Yes, please. Let me give you one. Sure. Yes, please. It's. Let me. Hold on. Uh oh, Rosie. What you got a spoon? It's so weird. Oh, oh, oh I got one. Spoon. Gotta make sure the camera doesn't fall into the. <laughs> I gotta put some more. Silverware more. In there should be some down there. Yeah. All right. I gotta put some more in there. It's, it's hot. Rosie, or now? Go for it. Go for it. Hot. It's very hot. It mm. smells good too. <laughs> and there's a little bit of lemon juice in it to cut the acid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, that's what we need tonight, today. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make a list so I can um, get the other stuff on the edge. Go to the edge. Yep. Pop okay. it in. in this bowl here? This is um, her chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies with um, M&M's. And you chili so it's made, right? Or it's, it's, it's on the stove. Okay, yeah. so now you need two cups of milk. Oh, so I gotta go and get the milk. Like, I'm that's why you, because you have ice cream, the cookie dough, mm -hmm. ice cream. Yep. I'm putting them all in here, Rosie. But it's not, it's not healthy. No. Well, <laughs> the, I, the... Part of it might be. Well, they have new... Um, cookie dough that you can eat. Mm. It's past. They use pasteurized eggs. What's pasteurized eggs exactly? They. I think they heat them to a certain temperature without cooking them, obviously. And that way, it makes the dough edible. They actually have. I think it's in New York City where they actually sell cookie dough to eat. Mm. You see me drooling? Mm. Oh yeah. Watch this. Watch my finger. One touching this part. I don't want part I'm touching. Mm-hmm. Keep going. One more. There you go. You're good. 
I didn't burn my paper. Uh, what is that, wax paper or parchment? Parchment. Yep, it is. There's a... Um, Should we do it? It's okay. Oh, yeah. I had the most amazing... Yeah. Now, everything's kosher in Israel, basically. Uh-huh. But the most amazing chocolate fudge. Like, fresh fudge. Mm-hmm. Oh. Got kid in the candy store eating that. What's that? I said Cindy has friends like Deborah and Virginia. Recently, this past holiday season, my um, in 2018, my wife and I took a trip to Israel to see family. Let's take a look at some of the food places that we visited, plus our family threw us a second wedding bash. Let's take a look at that as well. Since my wife and I went to Israel to see family, what if you're special needs and you want to get a chance to have a job working on a cruise ship in the kitchen? Let's take a look and listen to someone called the General. Is there any issues I need to know about? You got all your ingredients? What brasserie is it today? Brasserie 6, tomorrow? Razzity 7. I'm more commonly known as the general. I'd like to think it's because of my hat. I feel comfortable wearing my hat like this. I've wore it like this my whole career. It's just the way I wear my hat. There's no rhyme or reason behind it. I say it as a joke. The captain steers the ship, but the chef drives it. Every engine ran low a little bit for a couple of hours. We would still float and nobody would notice. Everybody wakes up this morning and there's no food on the ship. I'm sure there'll be a lot of unhappy guests. Right now, we have over uh, 10,000 chefs in the fleet uh, throughout 23 ships, and each and every one of them work under me. It's something I love, it drives me. I couldn't see me doing anything else. I've been doing it for 26 years, and it's the one thing I know that keeps my mind occupied. In this venue alone, we will push out in excess of 30,000 meals a day based on a full ship. As you can see, the weather's not too good outside, so the ship will be full. I get up at 4.30 in the morning because everybody else is asleep. So that means my phone isn't going. I'm not getting disturbed. I have two hours to myself, and that's where I get myself organised. Shave cantaloupe 400, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, make sure you answer me, please, yeah? Scallop 600. Yeah, shrimp cocktail 700. How many shrimp cocktails did you do last night? Last night, I did You didn't do any last night? No. Have you stopped doing that now? How many steaks did you go through last night, Butch? Three. You went through 700. Make sure you don't get caught with your trousers down there, yeah? What's happened to your hat, man? That's not going to make you look any taller. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to your hat? What's the consumption like on your donuts? Time, sir. Yes, boss. So we have blueberry muffins, yeah? With no blueberries in them. So we need to get some more blueberries in there. 
today is going to be a long, long, busy day. Today and tomorrow. All right, so get yourselves well prepared. Thanks, fellas. No one man runs an operation like this. This is where we'll be serving breakfast from today, for the dining room. I have three of the same kitchen here. Morning, are you lost? Yes. What are you looking for? Not too choppy for you, you know? It's lovely. It's lovely, yeah. Guest interaction is probably the part that I love the most. Have a nice morning, guys. You know where you're going? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've done this before. Have oh, you done it before, have you? Yeah. Well, if I need any advice, I'll come to you, okay? Yeah. yeah. So this is my cafe promenade. We'll put out over 3,000 pizzas a day in here. If you keep the kids happy, mum and dad's gonna be happy. What is this? Who, who's done this? Can you move that, please? Yeah. You're just waiting for this hat to blow off, aren't you? It's stuck on. As soon as it goes on, that's it, it's stuck. This is one of my favorite spots. It gives you a good indication of what's going on down there. And I can see all my fruit bowls, all my bacon, sausage, all the breakfast items. So if it's running low, I can just call the chefs in the kitchen, ask them to come out to the buffet station. You've only been with me for an hour so far and you've seen the ground that I've covered. Let me take you into my tasting kitchen now. Morning. Tell me what's missing off that kebab. Yeah, what's missing from it? Nothing, Nothing missing? All the ingredients are there. So all, all the ingredients are there, but we got, we're got lacking one ingredient. What's the ingredient? Little red color. All right, it's supposed to be much redder, yeah? yeah? All right, like tandoori. Who made the sauce for the turkey? Yes, sir. Yeah? Did you yes, taste it? Yes, sir. Really? Taste that, tell me what you taste. This is a bit too sharp, sir. Salty? Yeah? Extremely salty. Who made that vegetable stock for the broth? You made it. Tell me how you made your stock. We're constantly developing our chefs and constantly training them through our in-house training program. So it gives me a good indication of where we may have some people that we need to show a little bit more attention to. Can I see you write this down? Yes. Huh? I can teach anyone how to cook. That's the easy part. To teach someone to be dedicated and willing. That's got to come from within. Carpaccio de Manzo presented nicely. Lots of flavor, really nice. Make sure they're all like that, and that goes for any pasta. Your Mercedes is nice, nice and fluffy. No air gaps in the middle. Well done on the Mercedes. It's not an easy one to make. All right, gentlemen. Yeah, have a good afternoon. Enjoy Brasserie 7. I'll see you all later. Excuse me. Oh, man, what are you doing? Jesus. Move back. Honestly, move your trolleys out the way. To be able to stand for the first 15 years of a culinary career for 16, 17 hours a day in blistering heat in a super intense atmosphere. To not have Christmas at home, to not celebrate birthdays unless it was with the chefs at the end of dinner service. To give all that up for over 25 years, you have to have to be slightly imbalanced. This is our Azumi concept. Uh, we have nine sushi restaurants across the fleet and nine of our different ships. Yeah, hopefully we will have them in every ship in the fleet at some stage. Andre, did you do the sauce today? Come and taste this, please. It's a little bit on the edge. It's well and truly over the edge. Yeah. He's very tough to work with, but uh, he always supports. When we need some help, he's always there to support us. Uh, the soups I have no issues with. The soup is fine. The broth is fine. The double chicken consomme is fine. He has a very good knowledge uh, about food which is uh, very good for us because we are growing in our fields. So it's very good for us to have the right person to guide you in your right direction. One day I would like to be like him. Evening, gentlemen. Good evening, chef. Young man, would you like to just step forward for me? First of all, good evening, chef. Good evening, everyone. There's so much more that I want them to get out of being not just a chef, but a professional. I want them to be professional and and how they conduct themselves. I want them to always want to keep learning. You know, once you stop, then everything just stops, you know. The more I learn, the more I want to know. Do we have truffle fries? Truffle fries, yes, we do have truffle fries. Oh really, fries. do we? We love sure? them. I can't find one single issue on the plate. And generally, I can always find something. So whoever, whoever put this table together, job well done, excellent. 
I just want the chefs to have that same hunger all the time. I think he deserves a round of applause, gentlemen. He's done very well. I'm the best. <laughs> This puts an end to episode three of Able to Cook. I would like to thank Washington County Mental Health and many others who have helped in the production of Able to Cook. This puts an end to this edition of Able to Cook. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Able to Cook is sponsored in part by Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together.